Good morning, my fellow followers. Today, we are in Greek mythology, which is a world that was originally created, but I've been decorating it, so it's not as boring. Therefore, there's a bunch of mobs and everything, so I'm like, okay, fun. So we're just gonna kill them, because they have no right being in the secret garden, especially when I'm trying to design. So, yeah, basically, that's what is up. So he's dead. That's the house I always live in. The whole village, that's, I think, Athena? I'm not for sure. But, we're going to decorate. Fun. So, yeah. Decorating now. So, mm hmm. Beautiful. I got it. Oh, wow. It's so beautiful. Actually, highlight. Let's go back in. Actually, let's use the door. My doors. Um. Beautiful. The room I started been never finished. Guest bedroom. So, let's get this show on the road. So all of it's going to be wet, of course, because it's traditional. So. Let's do some white bed. It's traditional white. And of course, we're gonna have some bookshelves because why? Why not? Bookshelves. But then it's gonna be so pretty that you won't even know. So let's. Make a banner, shall we? Um, loom and how about we do Easy way. So, yeah. Yeah. Let's do light blue. Let's make. It. Work. Wow. No. No. Basically, we will do that. I like that. I like it. Boom. 
Um, so let's go do work on uh, not this village, and it's basically nighttime again. What the freak? Oh, I thought it was, but on um, over there where the arena arena is over there, main spawn in arena that maze basically. So the legend behind Greek mythology is people, so like one, like it's hard to explain. Greek mythology is an act of like religion basically that was originated by God. Like it's weird to explain, but People of Greek mythology, like gods, like Zeus and everything, believed in arenas and everything, and Taurus, like sacred Taurus. But Greek is. It's like. It's really hard to explain. So, it's like, maybe it's, a lot. like, Greek mythology is a very, very, very hard thing to explain, and it's just confusing at times, I guess. But let's let me do something real quick and yeah. So <laughs> on the other hand, um. So, yeah, obviously, it, so Greek mythology contains gods, um, uh, Cyclops' mentors, whatever you want to know, it's there. So, the only reason I'm doing this is because it's really, Greek mythology is a fascinating religion to follow up on. So, here's something. Greek mythology is a body of myths originally told by the ancient Greeks and genre of ancient Greek folklore. These stories concern the origin and the nature of the world, the lives and activities, deceased heroes, and mythological creatures and the origins of significance in ancient Greeks' own cult and ritual practices. Modern scholars study the myths in an attempt to she shed light on the religious and political in institutions of ancient Greece and its civilization to gain understanding that by the nature is a myth-making itself. Aside from the narrative deposited in ancient Greek literature, Pitchatorica represents of gods, heroes, and mythic episodes featured in ancient vast paintings and decorations of Voltaire gifts and many other artifacts. So if you don't know much about Greek mythology, it's really, really a fun thing to know on and to follow up on and research. Um, Greek mythology is a myth originally told by Greeks in genre of ancient folklore. So there was a bunch of heroes, villains, um, Aphrodite, the Greek god of love. So basically, mythology, Greek mythology, is they have different gods and gods have different. 
duties. And those duties is to help the community of what it has become. Basically, if that makes sense. But if you think about it, this was their time. It wasn't anyone else's time, but theirs. I mean, there were civilians, of course, and they'd obey the work the way up toward um, fame, basically, back then, or a god. But gods all c so there was this one god i can't remember the name i think it was athena where she w came out of zeus's head therefore athena is zeus's daughter huh? and athena is the god of war so therefore Therefore, if a god or a goddess has a kid, because back then gods could have kids, they would take on the rightful throne of the god. My goddess said their parents have become like demigods. Basically, Percy Jackson, Percy Jackson series is um Percy Jackson is a demigod therefore the, a demigod is half human half god so if you haven't read it um you haven't seen the movies or anything so Um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Percy Jackson is doing God, therefore his dad is Zeus and his mother is a random human. So, it's basically a win. It's basically a win win either for him, but there's a lot of evil, not so nice gods like Hades. Therefore, Hades is um, the demon, was the demon back then, and Hades always wanted Percy dead. And when, so Percy had a lot of things to deal with back then, like survival for, for his parents, um, his friend Annabeth, and Annabeth is a doing god as well. Her mom is, um. Aphrodite, I think. But she has some things yeah, to go through too. Like, um, Grover. Grover is a Mantor, which is half goat, half man. And basically, in the Lightning Thief, that movie, they went down to the underworld to seek this shield or whatever that could save Athens from the destruction of Hades. Therefore, Hades was killed by his own wife, and Grover stayed in the underworld until their task was complete. Because that was the agreement that they had on the on Hades' uh, just, um, wife. So Hades' wife is now controlling Rover, and yeah, 
So, uh, if you haven't seen the movies, I highly recommend it because they're so good. Like, to the point where I almost wanted to watch all of them. But I knew I can't. Because that would just waste so much time. But I was, I'm was i so fascinated with Greek mythology that I think you guys would like it. It's just such a good thing to study up on and it's like why didn't we why is this before Christ I thought Christ was I thought Christ made everything but this was BC so the time zone we're living in is AD. So Percy Jackson and everything was BC, which is before Christ. And AD stands for after death. So the death of Christ. So that's basically all I have to tell you. So, bye guys.